right. What is the mass in grams of 1.00 times 10 to the 12th lead atoms? So we are converting atoms or particles to grams, to mass. So this is going to be a two-step problem. We're going to start with 1.00 times 10 to the 12th atoms. That's what we're given. And first, we need to convert this to moles. So we're going to turn our atoms into moles. Okay, that's going to be our first step. And then once we get moles, we can convert those into mass or grams. So we can turn our moles, M -O -L, into grams. Okay, so there's how our problem is going to be set up, and we're going to end up with grams. Now, we need to know the relationship between our conversion factors. So first, we need to know how moles and atoms relate. Well, moles are just a number. One mole is always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of whatever. In this instance, atoms. So one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So that sets up our first conversion factor. And then the second one relates mass and moles, or grams and moles. For lead, because that's what we're talking about, looking at the periodic table, we know that one mole, again, is 207.2 grams. Got that from the periodic table. So our problem's all set up. Now we want to solve. What you're going to punch in your calculator is going to be 1.00 times 10 to the 12th. Okay, we would next multiply by the top of the first fraction, which is just 1. So we're going to skip that step because it won't change anything. So we're going to divide by the bottom, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Then we're going to multiply by the top of the second fraction, 207.2. We could divide by 1, divide by the bottom, but that's not going to change anything. And when we punch this all in our calculator, we should end up with 3.44 times 10 to the negative 10th grams. Looking at our units, atoms cancel with atoms top and bottom, moles cancel with moles on top and bottom, and we are left with grams. Now if you punch this in your calculator and you got 3.44 times 10 to the 36th, if that's what you got, what your calculator did was took this first part here, solved that, and then multiplied by 10 to the 23rd, and then again by 207.2. That is incorrect. We don't want to do that. Okay? Not good. What you need to make sure is that your calculator keeps this 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd together because that's on the bottom of our first fraction, that whole thing. So we need to make sure that we divide by all of that so that we get the right answer. All right, so what is the mass in grams of 1 times 10 to the 12th lead atoms? That would be 3.44 times 10 to the negative 10th grams. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.